What is up guys in today's video we got a brand new fortnite balance update pretty much out of nowhere randomly in the middle of today and there actually was a decent amount of changes that may change how you end up playing the game if you guys do find this video helpful and informative remember to give it a like subscribe if you would like to see more comment down below if this changes anything for you like are you going to switch up which shotgun you're using or which ir you're using as a result of these changes and if you would like to use me for support or creator my code is evolve jake so we're going to start off by talking about just what they did and then I will talk about like how I think that affects the game because I have played for several hours since they released the update. So for starters, the striker pump body damage was slightly reduced. The striker burst AR or the AUG deals less damage at maximum range. The port of fort stack size was reduced from five to two and the two shot shotgun fires its second shot faster. So overall, I think this was a pretty good update and that is coming from somebody who my probably two most used weapons were the pump and the AUG. With the pump, the max damage remains the same. So if you hit a good headshot, you're going to do the same amount of damage. And I feel like most people who were using the pump were going to go for headshots anyways. But what they ended up doing was they reduced the body damage by 12. So a white pump used to do 115 to the body. It'll now do 103 to the body if you hit every pellet to the body. Like I said before, the headshot damage remains the same. Or I'm sorry, I just missed that. It would deal 103 to the body in the past, the white pump, and now it deals 91. And I'll have the stats on screen now from Hypex. So they just reduced the body damage a little bit, but my point still stands. If you were using the pump, you were going for headshots. And what really matters is that max headshot damage, not necessarily the body damage. I'm someone who, like, I honestly wouldn't mind if every shotgun did less body damage than what it does and you really needed to go for headshots because I feel like that's the most skillful way to have shotguns in Fortnite. And odds are, if you were using the pump, you were probably going for headshots anyways. So this update really doesn't affect you too much and I didn't really notice much of a change when I was using the striker pump. It is still my preferred shotgun in Fortnite. The burst AR used to deal the same damage on all ranges and it now deals three less damage on mid range and five less damage on long range. Obviously, this, this, the amount of damage will depend on the rarity you have, but you do a little bit less damage at long range. You do a little bit less damage at medium range. Overall, I think this is a good change because the AUG was incredibly overpowered before, and it is still far and away the best assault rifle in my opinion. This update didn't change anything. Like I said previously in the video, I played several hours on this update and I still preferred the AUG far and away over any other AR. You can maybe make more of a case now for long range, the DMR dominating, but I think the ease of use and consistency of the AUG is still going to make it the best. And really those damage numbers don't change too much. It probably changed it by one or two shots to kill at long range. You're still going to kill people in roughly the same amount of time. So the AUG is still incredibly good. And then the final change they did was the two shot shots. The second shot fires 50% faster. And this is not the delay in between shots, like the pump delay. It's kind of hard to talk about because it shoots two shots and then pumps and then shoots two more shots. What really changes the time between two shots? The pump delay is still the same. So you still have to wait in between to being able to shoot again. But the first two shots come out faster. And this is actually a huge change to the weapon. I found myself enjoying the two-shot shotgun much more than I was before. It isn't something that I want to use still. Like, I don't really think this update really changed how I order the shotguns. I would still have the striker pump being the best shotgun, the auto shotgun being the second best, and then the two-shot shotgun being the third best but they all got kind of closer together you know the pump got taken down a notch the two shot got bumped up a little bit so every shotgun got closer in proximity but i would still rate them the same exact way i don't really want to use the two shot the only time i would really use it is if like i had to use it off spawn or something and in those situations i feel like the two shot is much better than it was before you know if you got stuck with a two shot off spawn before it felt bad it felt weird it felt inconsistent it felt clunky now with the two shots coming out of the gun much faster it feels a lot more reliable and a lot more just like usable than it was before so if you were someone who already liked the two shot shotgun for whatever reason you're probably going to love it now and if you were somebody who hated it you're probably going to hate it slightly less but this really didn't change the overall rankings of the shotguns too much in my opinion um i, I feel like if you were a pump user before you're still going to be a pump user if you're an auto user before you're still going to be an auto user and then same with the two shot and I could say the same exact thing for ARs. Like if you were someone who really liked the DMR before, that's cool. You'll keep liking the DMR at long range. You have even more of an advantage over the AUG than you did previously. But if you were already someone who liked using the AUG and that was your favorite long range rifle, 
you're still going to like the AUG. It's not like a game-breaking update in that regard. It just kind of made everything a little bit closer in proximity, but I don't think the ordering of how I would rank weapons really changed for any of the shotguns or ARs that they changed in this update. And then the final change they did was the port of forts You could carry five in a stack, and that was really busted, especially in zero build competitive. I didn't really see it in public matches that much, but from what I watched of zero build tournaments, people were just stacking port of fort on port of fort in game, and it was getting pretty crazy. And I feel like this was just an example of Epic not really remembering their past updates, because I think in season six or seven, sometime like well into chapter one, for some reason they still had the port of fort in the loot pool, and everyone just like hated it and didn't want it in the game and didn't use it. And then instead of taking it out of the game, they made it to where you could carry more of them. So the amount that you could carry was balanced for build mode when no one wanted to use it because pretty much everybody could build better than the port of fort itself anyways, and it really wasn't that valuable. And it pretty much never was in build mode. Even when it was initially added to the game, the overall level of the community as far as building goes was like as good or better than the port of fort. So it really didn't benefit a lot of players to use it. But when you bring it into zero build, it's a really impactful item and it's a really useful item. So you definitely shouldn't be able to carry five in a stack. So I feel like they just had this like all out of whack and maybe forgot that they had buffed the amount that you could carry in the past because they were so ignored at that point in the game that even when they made it five instead of two, still nobody cared about it and nobody used it. And then it was eventually removed from the game. So yeah, I, I think this change is very good. It's it's probably not going to affect public matches too much, like I said. I feel like this is something that you would really only notice in zero build competitive, or if your matches were incredibly sweaty for some reason and you had teams carrying five port of forts and literally stacking them one on top of another on top of another, then sure, you won't see that anymore. But the teams that are going to carry port of forts are still going to carry port of forts. And it, like I said, in most public matches, I never really saw people like stacking them as much as I did in competitive. So this is a good change. It's a step in the right direction. Personally, I think the limit should be one. I don't really think you should be able to carry more than one, especially in zero build. But we'll see how it plays out. I think the game will play better with two, but I think it would play even better with one. And if you are someone who's been struggling with the port of fort so far in zero build, I'm hopefully going to have a video up later this week talking about like how you can play against them better and how you can beat them because I do definitely think they're counterable and a lot of people are just struggling to adapt to it. But that's going to be it for this video and this update. Just a quick change to the balance of the weapons. Didn't really change things too much, but it did change things to the point where you're going to notice it. You will notice the AUG nerf, but you're probably still going to prefer the AUG. You will notice the pump nerf, but you're probably still going to prefer the pump. And the two shot got a lot better and it's a lot more usable now than it was before. I did win some games of zero build uh, with it today after the update. So... That's going to be it for this video. If you guys found it helpful, informative, whatever, remember to give it a like. Subscribe if you would like to see more. Comment down below what you think of this update's changes, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.